First of all, I want to say thank you so much for waiting behind for this interview. I know you um, you were eager to go because I've kept you waiting for about 30 minutes, but it was worth it, Daniel. You won the men's 400 meters against all odds. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let me sincerely, were you expecting that you would win this race? I know, I was just hoping to please. From first to third, that was my target. Incidentally, I was the one who even informed you that you just ran a personal best of 46.13 seconds. What has been working for you post COVID 19? Uh, I can't really say, it's just the motivation to do it. Uh, last year, I, didn't, I tried my best, but I did not travel. So that motivation kept me going all this while. I was training, I was working hard. Indeed, it was a tough 2019 for you because you missed out on the team to be um, to represent Nigeria in Morocco. But you represented Nigeria right here on this track two years ago in the men's 4 by 400 meters. How does it feel like being back in your city competing? And you won. Yeah, well, we can say there is indeed home advantage in, uh, in the sport. Actually, this is my ground and this is my home. This is where I train. So I can tell that I know the track more than my visitors. So I was eager to prove myself here at home. So that was part of my motivation. The fans were actually cheering. They were all shouting for Daniel. Is it because you're the home fan? I can say. I can say. This is my town. And majority of the spectators are from Asaba here. So it's obvious. It's obvious that I'm their favorite. Yeah. Let's talk about your former teammate, Emmanuel Ojeli, who also grew up in this city. Were you surprised that you did not see him amongst the first three as you crossed the line? Well, uh, if I is a talent, no doubt, no doubt. Probably he's not having a good time currently. But I was expecting to see him in the race. I was expecting him, but as, as God will have it now, it was just me and Sikiru, all true. So there's no problem. He, he will bounce back. He's, where did you find the energy to dip in ahead of security? Actually, I love to chase. And when I see I'm closing you, it gives me this motivation to keep pushing hard. So that's what motivated me to keep going till we reach the finish line. Okay, Daniel, so let's talk about COVID-19 period. You know, people at least really suffered. It was challenging for them. For you personally, how did you pull through? How did you manage that period? Uh, it was a difficult period. Especially there was no money. There was no help. Uh, so we, we have to manage. We have to manage with whatever we see. We're just training and training like that. Just training. We're working hard on our own. So it's okay that we actually got this time. So it's okay. But it was a difficult period for everybody, including me. It was a difficult time. But we, we thank God we enjoyed it. 46 one I know that you are encouraged and you think you can actually go beyond 46 and 45 this is the last question i'm going to ask you do you think that 45 is going to come in benin the national sports festival because i mean from what you've done today you are already one of the favorites well uh we are like i said we are working towards running even 44 but currently we are still running 46 and it's a bit it's a bit troublesome for me but there's no problem since we still have small time to train Especially when we get to the uh, team camp, we we'll have good coaches that will handle us there. So probably we'll run a good time, probably the 45. Well, that's what we are hoping for, to run 45 and we will go beyond 45. But for now, we're just working. Thank you so much, Daniel, for waiting. Um, I'm really glad that you stayed back to do this interview. It's actually really worth it. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it.